Hello everyone, this is Some Girl in St. Louis, a video channel that discusses a lot of things about St. Louis, from true crime, to people, to events, to places. I will be discussing many stories that have stood out during my lifetime. Thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and share. February 1983, this is where I lived. I was seven years old. This is where I went to school. And this is where Precious Hope's body was found. I lived three miles from where she was found. And I went to school two blocks from where she was found. She was found in an abandoned building at 5635 Clemens Avenue in St. Louis, Missouri. She was thrown away like trash, placed in a cold, damp basement. Her head was missing. Her hands were tied behind her back with a red nylon rope. She had on red nail polish and a yellow sweater. She was naked from the waist down. She had not yet reached puberty. The medical examiner said that she was between the ages of 8 and 11. She was 4'10", around 60 pounds. Police searched everywhere for her missing head. They searched sewers, trash cans, everywhere. Who is Precious Hope, which is not even her real name? Her body was found two blocks from my school, which had all the adults worried and us children terrified that our heads would be cut off. I was living with a pedophile at the time, and I often wondered, if it was him. She is resting at Calvary Cemetery Garden of Innocence, an area designated for unidentified individuals. Her DNA is on file and it's just a matter of time before we find out her identity. <laughs> 